Hey everyone, it's SJM. So today I'm going to show you how to kind of uh, make Windows 7 faster and more efficient and um, some features you can use. Um, I know one thing that everyone hated about Vista was that pop-up allow disallow thing for when you're downloading anything or doing anything pretty much. But anyways, on 7, once it pops up the first time, you can just, there's a little button down there, you click it. And it says, you know, you can put how often those pop-ups come up. And I put them to never, so I could never get them back to show you. But they're gone now. So, a way to make your Windows go faster on any operating system, actually, is you just go into the run area. You type msconfig and it'll, it'll pop up on here. Um... pop up then you go over to your services and you you hide all your Microsoft services because you don't want to disable something that'll wreck your computer and you can disable stuff like little things you don't need that you know or like you don't want starting up and it makes your startup a lot faster like I disabled LimeWire and Adobe and stuff they don't need to come up with Windows um, they'll just start when I want them to so those are all making my computer start up quicker so that's one way to make it go faster uh, another is you go to the control panel and you go to your power options. If I can find it. Uh, do you see it? Here it is. And you go and you can click your uh, your power plan. So I pick high performance. It favors performance but uses more energy but you get more efficiency on your computer. Or you can go to balance which is good. It, it uh, saves energy and makes your hardware still work well. But I like high performance because it really works good on here. Um, then you can toggle with your screen savers and all that. You can right click and you can go to your personalized, change your themes. We have a uh, couple, a Canada theme, and their, their backgrounds change pretty much whenever they want. Um, and you can download more of those too. You can change your Windows color here. I really like this about uh, Vista. Change it to green, change the intensity. That and save it. And there you go. Um, you can change your account picture. Same kind of crappy pictures they've always had. Um, here's a kitty. So you can do that. So I just basically want to get on here to show you that and to uh, just say that it's been really well. They're working really well. So there's also another feature that's called sticky notes. You can click a new note. And if you want to remember something when you get on the computer in the morning, this note comes up, you can say, you know, print off report or something, and leave it there, and it'll stay there until you delete it. And then you get on in the morning, you're like, oh, I need to print off that report. And then you can just exit and delete it. So I thought that was pretty neat, too. Um, I'll uh, update you on any more features I'm running into. But uh, basically, everything else is pretty much the same. Um... I find the updates install a lot quicker. Uh, I did some updates yesterday and they went really quick. Um, if you did download that weather, I redownload it again. They've changed it again. As you can see, it looks different. Um, so, yeah. But that was neat. Um, what else can I show you? Pretty much everything else is the same as any other Windows, but if you're going from XP to this, it's quite a jump because there's a lot of new features, I guess. There's the Media Center where uh, I haven't really used it much, but I'm sure you can watch like TV and movies and music, listen to music and all of that stuff here. Um, yeah. yeah, what can you do in here? You can enjoy your favorite photos. Watch PCs with DVR. Enjoy your movies. On your TVs. Yeah, you can hook your laptop up to your TV and watch movies. And it's really cool, actually. Um, so yeah, that's it. That. This is kind of boring. It's because I don't know a whole lot about this Windows even yet. I did really want to just show you that uh, toggling that pop-ups. I know I hated that, but um, looks like I can't get it back up. Um, here, I can show you the new Movie Maker for anyone who's considering going up for that because it's a really nice features on here. It looks totally different. So I don't think I have any videos that we'll throw in here to try, because we can check. No, I don't think. Oh, I do. Okay, so this is one I made the other night of this. 
So it comes up in like these three bars, and you can click anywhere on them pretty much in between these two screens. Um, I haven't put in any titles or anything yet, so let's just do that. So, hello, and then I guess when we play this, say hello. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of neat. Um, and that comes up so you can add your captions, I guess. Like a subtitle kind of thing. Um, you can change the text of it up here, I guess. I'm sure you can change the color somewhere. Um, you can adjust the time you want it to play to. So I thought that was, this is kind of neat. Uh, you can change the feature of it, make it wide out like oh, yeah. that. Or make it oh, yeah, straight. Yeah. Make it fly out if you want. I thought it was neat. Oh, so yeah, that's that. Yeah. Now when you're all done, you go to edit again, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Home, then you click YouTube up there. And then you put your pass name and password in. Bam, there you go. It publishes to YouTube itself, and it always works every time. I never have an issue with it. So, yeah, this is pretty much another basic update on vi on 7. I didn't have Vista very long, but uh, I definitely like uh, 7 much better than I ever have Vista. Just because it has all the neat things in Vista without all the problems and stuff. So it's pretty much a tweaked version of Vista. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and hope you all enjoy Windows 7. Bye.